Is somebody gonna ask gonna the ask questions? Them. Okay. Yes. I knew it. <laughs> hey, my name is Rumi Jiraj. My, uh, my name is Liam Woodfine. My name is Sarah Diorio. Uh, I'm Marissa Ricci. And I'm a choreographer here at DECO. So, my main source of inspiration is the not so dystopian um, reality which we're moving towards with technological advances and that being being able to extend our lifetimes and live for really long periods of time. So, you know, what it does to our mental state seeing like a hundred years of existence more than we would usually in our relationship with our bodies when, you know, we're replacing organs and we're replacing parts of our body like that. I decided to work with a restriction this time around. So the restriction I'm, I've been playing with is having the dancers in a line the entire time. It's bouncing between more pedestrian places of waiting as well as more choreographed moments of dance all in a line. The first one that comes to mind is um, Crystal Pite, a show that um, that she did called Betroffenheit. I've seen it twice and that show worked with text and with a set and only had four performers in it. I would love to have like a set in this piece. I'm only working with a small cast that I would like to keep that way for a full length. Someone that I admire a lot is a Portuguese author, um, Fernando Pessoa. Very well known for his innovative use of heteronyms. Um, or alternative personae and wrote from the perspective of like completely independent authors and I feel like that parallels me as an artist a little bit. Finally an opportunity after, I mean the pandemic especially, to get some work out there to create a space where people can come and see work. Working alongside people and hearing little inklings of the way they're feeling about the work and then having those similar feelings is kind of nice to be in a cohort with people together. Angela's mentorship has really like, it's really sort of kept me on track. I really feel like I'm getting to just explore things. It's been a really long time, if ever, that I've actually allowed an audience to view my own work. <laughs> I don't know if any of that was good. <laughs>